All right, let's talk about the GoPower GP PWM 30SQ Solar Charge Controller. I'm gonna go over uh, just kind of briefly what some of the LED lights mean, as well as some of the options, and then a few quick troubleshooting tips. Um, so if we take a look on the side, we will see basically the battery meter. Now you're gonna use kind of these four symbols where the LED is lit in conjunction with your uh, little charging symbol right over here to kind of see the status. Um, if it's all the way down on the bottom one and that is lit up and that will be a red light and this one is flashing, uh, that is going to represent the fact that you are uh, very low voltage. You're going to be under 10 volts and it's going to be doing a soft charge to bring that battery back up to 10 volts. Now, if it's solid and it's on the bottom one at that point, you're um, again, you're starting into the bulk charge phase as well as right into the next one. Uh, once we hit about 80% charge, you will go into the absorption phase, which will be the third one from the top there. And then finally, the very top will be float, uh, representing the battery is at or near 100% full capacity. Uh, you also have two different buttons. The bottom one is going to be battery type. So, you know, if you, it will be set for your standard lead acid, but if you swap out to uh, like AGM or lithium, you want to push and hold that battery type to be able to change that. Um, that, that way the, the algorithm in the uh, controller can make sure that it is properly charging that battery. You also see right up top is amp slash volt, and uh, you can click that to change it from your voltage to uh, your amperage to see what's coming in, as well as the current amp hour. So you do have a couple different readings that you can get right on the controller itself. Now, if the controller isn't functioning, everything's hooked up, you're having some issues, um, what you wanna do is you actually wanna take this uh, shroud off right here, and you will take a voltmeter and check what the voltage is at the controller battery termination as well as at the battery termination itself. Uh, you'll want to check both of those and compare. Now, if, if you have zero here, well, then, you know, you obviously have a bad connection, right? It is just not getting power from the, from the battery at all. So you want to make sure you check your wire, make sure nothing got um, damage there, you know, damage from reverse polarity, something like that. Um, if there is still voltage, but you have a drop that is going to be greater than a half a volt, then chances are you have something loose. And so you'll want to go through and tighten up your connections and make sure everything is nice and tight. Uh, if you have further issues, you know, if, if for whatever reason your batteries aren't charging or something to that effect, uh, there can be multiple things that can happen there. Uh, so what I recommend if that is the case is to give a call to our elite service tech so they can help walk you through step by step to see exactly why your system isn't charging. Other than that though, the GoPower is a, a great system. It'll help top your batteries off. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.